Hello my friends, welcome to the Innovation Lab. So I uh, posted a video this morning and I basically had to take it down to add some uh, caution and, um, and um, some note for you guys. Uh, one of my viewers uh, made a comment uh, that made me realize that uh, there were some, there could be some safety concerns for a lot of people trying to recharge their car batteries the way I am going to show in this video. So I wanted to uh, take some time, take a couple minutes to go over the safety of this. And if you don't feel comfortable doing it the way I'm going to show in the video, please, by all means, I will highly recommend that you take the, take the time to bring out the battery from your vehicle, place it on a, on a nice table that has nothing that you could you know, be worried about, and then you can use this system to charge, recharge your uh, battery if that's what you want to do. Um, so talking about safety, so on this system, I was able to do it the way I did it in the video because I am very familiar, I built this uh, system, put it together, and I am very familiar with electrical systems, electronic systems. I know where all the safety weaknesses are. So um, my mistake in the video was to think that, you know, everybody will be like me, you know, conversant with the uh, electrical systems. So let me talk through this a little bit. So there are about three points of safety here. The first one is that when I am doing this, and I highly recommend you do the same thing, make sure that you plug into a mains outlet that has that's fused or possibly has a GFCI. Um, so um, secondly, these server power supplies are built with uh, overload protection. So if there's any uh, short on the output, they will trip off. So that's the second layer of safety. The third layer of safety will be on the actual boost converters themselves. So the boost converters have, they come with uh, fuses as you can see here. So these fuses, if you try to overload them, exceed the current rating, the fuse will blow. Uh, fuses will blow. So that's three layers of safety that I always make sure that I work with. Then for me, uh, I also make sure that, as you can see, that everything is, uh, all the exposed uh, contact or, or connecting points are heat shrunk, and everything coming out of here is basically low voltage. We have 12 volts coming out of here, so basically all I am doing is to dial up that voltage to 14 volts, as you can see here, to enable me to charge a 12 volt battery. Again, if you're not uh, comfortable doing it, the way I'm going to show in this video, uh, make sure that you take the time to pull out your car battery or um, don't even do it at all. If you're not, if you're not uh, trust yourself that you can, you know a lot enough about electrical systems to do it, please do not do it because we will not be responsible for your outcome you alone will be, will be responsible for your outcome. When we make these videos, it's all about showing you what's possible, showing you what we're doing for those who will be interested. All right, my friends, so let's get into it. So um, I woke up this morning and I saw that my car battery died. So I had to uh, find a way to recharge it. Kind of saw this as, as an opportunity to show you guys the application of the uh, the universal charger uh, that I've been uh, made a few videos on. So, um, as I've shown in the, in the previous videos, so this is what the uh, system looks like. It's so so very simple. You go from uh, uh, main supply to your server power supply stack to your DC to DC boost converter. Then I'm using this power monitor to see. To monitor what you know the charge going into the battery so I've done this with a single server power supply which gave me 12 volt output so what I have here is a, uh, a stack of power server power supplies that gave me 24 volt output but then as and I've shown this in my last video so uh, one of my concerns was that if I make this, configure this to be a 24 volt, as you can see here, which is 12 volts and 12 volts in series. I had a concern that I will never be able to use this to charge a 12 volt battery. But then I found this accidentally that if I just enabled one of the server power supplies, that it will give me 12 volt instead of a 24 volt, which is awesome because now I have 12 volts coming in here and I, 
I all I had to do is to tune it up to 24 volt using this uh, uh, potentiometer there sorry I tuned it up to 14 volts and I adjusted the charging current here so as you can see here um, what's going in now is the battery is charging at 13.47 volts and it has an input current uh, charging current of 8 amps and this also shows you the ch accumulated charge in ampere hours as you just saw the accumulated charge I've been charging this for about uh, 30 minutes or 45 minutes now so it's about about 7.5 ampere hours yeah so this is I just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys application of this uh, system um, so that um, you know it's something you can do and and one of the thing one of the other things I'm trying to do now is to build an enclosure because I don't like you know when I have an emergency like this it would be more convenient to just have everything in one place when I saw this happen I had to find the cable I had to find where I put the server power supply the DC to DC boost converter uh, the power monitor everything so but if I had everything in one enclosure it would be much more convenient all right my friends uh, watch out for that video um, it will be the next video i'll make on this subject um, so you haven't if you haven't subscribed subscribe to the innovation lab so you will get notified as we release that video all right my friends thanks a lot for watching